plus 1.7 cash book entry cash receipt for this task we going to do uh, some transaction for cash receipt so the first instruction is to record the following receipt voucher in bracket cash receipt shortcut icon uh, and then after save proceed with new okay for this instruction we are going to do uh, the cash receipt in the shortcuts so to create a cash receipt using shortcut first you have to find the cash receipt so we find cash receipt here to create a new one we have to click at the icon so when i click on the icon we can start to key in the first cash receipt that we have the first cash receipt is we receive from the owner so i key in here the owner the description is initial capital after you key in the receive from and description the next thing is voucher number for this training purpose you don't have to key in your voucher number on your own you just leave it new because the system already auto generate the number for you if you look into this uh, top here can you see the next possible number is OR-0001 so that is the system auto numbering so in this voucher number column you can just skip and you go to the date column the date is very important you have to key in uh, correctly 5th of January 2020 we are using current year Okay, the next one is payment method. So, payment method here, you choose CIMB KL. So, after you choose CIMB KL, do you have any check number? If have, you key in the check number. If you don't have, you just skip. The payment amount here, I suggest you not to key in the payment amount at the middle here because all the amount you can actually key in at the bottom here. So, whatever amount that you key in here, it will be automatically reflect in the middle. So, for example, I key in the account number first. So, the account number is 100,000 capital and then the account description capital but the description here is bank in capital. So, after I key in bank in capital, the amount here I put in hundred thousand so when i key in hundred thousand sorry this is ten thousand hundred thousand so you can see the amount is actually reflected in the meter so this is the first cash receipt we have another one cash receipt to record so what you need to do is you need to tick after save proceed with new receipt voucher then only you click save and you will get there's a message appear payment method cmbkl may need to specify check number do you want to enter if you really don't have any check number you just need to click on no because we don't want to key in any check number so now it's a new entry you can proceed with the second cash receipt which is we receive from cash customer the description is sales and we skip the voucher number column and we change the date to 6th of January and the payment method is by cash so after that I click on the plus sign to insert the line the account number is 501,000 for sales cash sales and the description is for item 1203 and the amount is 10,000 so after you key in the 10,000 it will reflect in the middle as well so now we only have two cash receipt to record so I untick after save and then I click on the save button so that is for the first instruction the second instruction you can see it says that use copy voucher to create the following receipt voucher what does it mean it means that 
we want to cop we want to create a new receipt cash receipt but using a copy voucher function we don't want to create manually already we just want to copy from the previous cash receipt so how to copy from the previous cash receipt is very simple first you have to go to the cash receipt icon create new again then to do copy voucher function what you need to click is can you see there's a one function of copy voucher you click on the copy voucher there and you need to choose copy from other cash book or copy to a new cash book or copy to a new payment voucher or copy to a new receipt voucher in auto count when you create cash payment and also cash receipt all both will be under cash book so just now we already created cash receipt so we want to copy from other cash book so when you click on copy from other cash book you may need to key in the keyword to find the cash receipt that you want to copy from so the keyword that similar with a, uh, the, the new keyword that similar with a previous one is cash customer so when you click search you can see the there's a one cash receipt that appear that related to cash customer if this cash receipt that you want to copy from so you just choose and then you just click ok when you click ok every thing in the previous cash receipt will be copied exactly to the new one okay but certain thing you need to change for example like date you have to change to the new date which is 7 of january and then you have to change the item okay the item the description is different item 1208 and 1990 okay and the amount also different 200 so after you have changed certain uh, details the next thing is to save you just need to click on the save button as usual and then your new voucher will be saved. To check your cash receipt, you can just go to the cash receipt listing which is you need to click on the wordings here. Okay, you can see under your listing you have three cash receipt which is OR1, OR2 and OR3. Okay, so the last instruction is to cancel the receipt voucher or number three how you can actually do the cancel cash receipt to cancel if let's say in future you want to cancel the cash receipt to cancel the cash receipt you just need to highlight the or number three and after that you go to the view button and then can you see there's a one button of the cancel document so what you need to do you need to click on the cancel document there do you really want to cancel transaction yes when you click yes automatically the cancel wording will appear here in red color and when you close the cash receipt at the last uh, column you can see there's a one column for cancel so it says that the status of or 003 is cancel so that's how you do the last instruction for the cancel of receipt voucher